Hi, this is Ron at Lancelot Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use an amazing plugin for OBS that will make you look like a comic book figure or in a cartoon. And the best part is it's completely free in OBS. Here I have an example of one of my puppets that I've been using in one of my videos. I'll just get that hair out of the way. It gives the effect that you're actually in an animation, which is pretty cool. I'm also gonna bring you to the OBS website to download the shaders. What do you say? Where are you going? Is this thing on? Well, of course it's on. We're, we're doing a tutorial. Hey! First thing we'll need to do is download the OBS shade filter. This is 1.21. I'll supply the link in the comments below. Just scroll down and click on OBS shade filter wind zip. I'll get this on my desktop. And I can't stress this enough. When you have your downloads open, you want to make sure you go straight to your OBS folder. And the best thing to do is open two windows side by side. One is where my OBS plugin is. Program Files, Studio, Data, OBS Plugins. What you want to do here is make sure that both file paths are identical. Download Shade Filter, OBS Studio, Data, OBS Plugins. We'll copy all that and we put them into the OBS Plugins. Now I'm in OBS, go ahead and hit the plus sign. My video capture device is already entered, hit OK. And then we go ahead and right click our video capture device, go to filters, hit the plus sign, go to user defined shader, which I've already have. Once we do that, we go click on load shader from text file, browse, here are all the shaders. And I'm gonna go down to cartoon effect. This is what we need. We click open. Very importantly, what we need to do is click use effect file and we have to reload the effect. Also clicking on user slide inputs and shader time. And there you have it. And as you can see here, it turns our video into a comic effect. Now we have these two sliders here to adjust our image. I like the way it looks here, so I'm gonna leave it. I also wanna show you another shader that looks quite like the effect of an animation. It is called Bloom Shader. I'll go ahead and hit Browse, bring up my shaders here, and go to Bloom, hit OK or Open. Now what I've done with adding both user-defined shaders is gives, it gives you the opportunity to start playing around and fiddling with it to see which one gives you the most pleasing effect for you. Whether you want to use the bloom of shader or you want to use the cartoon effect. And with these shaders, with these sliders here, you could just adjust the image as well. So what is absolutely amazing here is that you have so many different opportunities here to make your adjustments to whatever video that you're making and be creative. Not only can you use the user-defined shaders, but you can use your lighting to get your desired results here. As you can see here, with my different lighting, I can try to get the desired effect that I want, along with the sliders and your user-defined shaders. Or you might decide that not having lights will give you more of the desired effect here. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.